everyone good morning happy saturday so we're starting our day out and about and we are going to go into a store so let's go check out this little store all right guys so here we are we are going there the british pantry now we're going to see if we can find some low carb goodies or whatever but the fun thing is to get out and explore this little shop um, and see what they have. I don't want to trigger anyone, but we're gonna we're gonna just take a look inside. So let's go. Okay, we are inside the shop, and a lot of these are just like little bags of chips or something. I've not seen them before. Well, of course not. They're British, but. Huh. Very interesting. Some of these things. Hmm. Okay. Some of these different. Wow. Okay, they got strawberry custard. Custard in a, wow, can, okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, it is that time and we're going to start some meal prep. One of the items we are going to do is make our breakfast sandwich again. It was really good. We're going to use this protein powder, eggs, and we're going to use some, add some more cinnamon to it. So let's start pulling things together. Okay, here are our sausage patties. Okay, here are our breakfast sandwiches pulled together. They're ready to go in the oven at 350 until they're done. And we're going to just keep going right on to our next one, which will be some chicken sandwiches. So let's go. Okay, here they are, the breakfast sandwiches, and they're beautiful. Each one is about 26 grams of protein. Okay, we're going to keep it going. We're going to do the exact same thing to a degree. Only this time, instead of sausage, we're going to use chicken. So I have some sriracha. And right here, I have some chicken bouillon in this little container here. My eggs, some more spices, and some planta protein. This time, um, just unflavored. And we're going to just keep rolling right on. Okay, here is the chicken in our little trays, and we're gonna add the um, the batter to it. Okay, here they are with the little batter in it. I'm gonna put these in the oven at 350 until they're done. All right, our little chicken sandwiches are done, and let's see. I calculated the protein at about 22 grams per sandwich. Alrighty, let's keep right on going. Alrighty, let's get into our veggie mix. So, 
So we're gonna cook it in this pan. These are so good. I, I've cooked them before and I just love them. If I can get it open again. And let's see how much we're gonna get in here. Alrighty. There we go. Now these have to cook down. I'm not going to season them right away because they're going to need to do a little bit of steaming and cooking right there since they're frozen. But for the macros, it's not bad. There's only 45 calories, 2.0 grams of fat, 5 carbs, 1 fiber. So, very keto friendly. Um, let me find a fork to stir them around. Okay, there we go. Now they can cook a little better. So, we're going to let them do their thing and check back on them in a few minutes. This is cooking really nicely. I think I'm going to add some of the Johnny's to it. This is a really good vegetable mix. And it is almost done. Even a really big pieces of Brussels sprout is cooked all the way through. Alrighty, we have officially finished prepping, you know, a little bit of food. Of course, we can always add to it during the week, but for now, we're done food prepping. Alright, we are back from our outing, and it was actually kind of fun. Um, although I did not see a lot of keto-specific stuff, um, they did have a restaurant. And you're able to order some things that were kind of keto friendly. So it was a, it was nice going to a little British store. Um, a different, you know, change of pace, something different. I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to get into something I should have done a while back. And I've been procrastinating. And I don't know why I've been procrastinating with this. This is going to be like part one of my Q&A. So, um... I do get questions from time to time in some emails, and sometimes I, I will respond to them, and I think some, it's just good to maybe do a Q&A, because some people may have the same questions and don't ask them or whatever, but I'm not going to make this video too long, because I want to keep it relatively short, um, but let's get into that Q&A. So you may see me looking down, but... Um, I'm just trying to, you know, read the questions. Okay, question one. How long have you been doing keto? And is it working? Okay, this is going to be kind of a long answer, but I hope not. <laughs> um, I think I've been doing keto. I haven't really tracked it like that um, for at least five years or more. Um... Yes, it works, but here's the, what, what I'm going to say. It works, but I had to be diligent with my macros and change them up as my body changed. So when I started doing keto, I was not in menopause and it, you know, it worked well. But as I got into menopause, the macros that I had that I was trying to work with 
did not work for me. And I kept pushing it and pushing those macros and I was getting the opposite effect. It wasn't until I wrapped my head around, you know, keto, keto, ketosis is a state of being. You can eat foods that will contribute to you being in that state of ketosis. So once I started wrapping my head around it and looking at it from that point of view, and not keto as food, but a state of being, um, I was able to get my macros changed up to be able to start losing weight again. And sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes your body over a period of time changes and what you were doing before does not work for it so i always say listen to your body do what works for your body i used to say do what works for you but do what works for your body sometimes that means making difficult changes and you will have to adjust to them but it's worth it for your body okay number two is it hard to stay on plan? Um, yes and no. It's easy once I you get into the rhythm. And, um, and there are sometimes you may have these weird cravings for stuff that's not in your plan originally. And what I will say is, it's every so often it's okay to indulge as long as you're every so often. It's not every other day, every week, or all of that. You know what I'm saying? So it's relatively easy to stay on plan. Um, now, the caveat, what I would say to this is if you're coming from um, this addictiveness where you're addicted to food, um, you use food for comfort, your best friend, and you are an overeater, you have binge eating disorder and all that, you're going to always have to be a little bit vigilant because sometimes that can come creeping back and you don't even realize it and you're doing those same behaviors again. So yes and no, and you have to keep an eye on what you're doing. And keep an eye on the prize, what you're going for, if you need motivation. All the time, sometimes your motivation is not going to come from people pushing you to do the right thing. It's going to have to come from within. Okay, the next question. Who do I watch um, to help me with my journey? Ah, uh -huh. That one... Um, it's too many people. It really is too many people. And um, I don't want to leave people off the, the list. And I don't want people upset with me. But I watch a multitude of people. Probably in the realm of at any given time during the week. Of probably 50 or more different people. So it's a lot of people. A lot of people. Because there's a lot of information out there. So, um, hmm, how do I answer this? You know, I might pull this one out and do a little bit of a segment where I am calling out some of these people. So, um, yeah, that seems like it might be a, a good plan. Stay tuned for something like that because I don't want to start naming names right now and then miss someone. So I'll develop a comprehensive list of all the people that I watch and, you know, maybe do a video around all of that because all of them motivate me a little bit in some way and I enjoy watching their journeys and what they're eating and what they're talking about and what they're going through. So yeah, I'll probably pull that out um, and do a cell separate video on something like that. Um, this will be the last question for right now. Um, let's see. <laughs> okay, so, um, how old am I? Um, I am 53 and I will be 54 in April. Um, and also I want to tagline this. April is when they're going to have 
the next KetoCon and I will be in Austin, Texas. So I won't actually be there on my birthday. It'll be a little bit after my birthday, but I would love to do a meetup of all of you guys that's in Austin, Texas that I follow. So yeah, look out for that for me to be talking about that soon too. But I am going to wrap this up. I don't want the video to get way too long. Um, and I do want to say thank you. Thank you so much a lot to, to my, to everyone. And especially my, all my OG subscribers that's been with me all these years. Because I'm just going to be very honest and point blank here. Um, I know my videos can be quite boring and repetitive. But it's my life journey. It's just what my journey is. I know there were times when I was less boring and more active in doing things. And hopefully I can get back to that, um, to spark it up a little bit. But, you know, the journey to success is about sometimes that repetition of consistency. And that's what I'm striving for. So I do want to thank you because I do appreciate each and every one of you that comes back time and time again to see me do some of the same things which is repetitious and consistency. So thank you so much. But I'm going to wrap this up and get this video out. Mwah! You guys are just so amazing. And I will be seeing you guys real soon. Have a great rest of your day.